We'd like to ask everyone to please rise for the posting of the colors. Now for our invocation from Pastor Nelson Rivers of Charity Baptist Church, Reverend Rivers. Good evening. I ask that you be reminded that in all of the scriptures, uh, we are commanded to be kind one another to neighbors. And ask that the elected officials would hold in their hearts what the Lord has commanded of you to do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. Let us pray unto him. Father God, we ask now for your hand of power, your heart of love, that you would touch every heart set aside to serve you by serving your people, that you remind them of the awesome burden love and responsibility they now have. That they would carry it out in the admonition of Micah that they would do justice, they would love mercy, they would walk humbly with you. And the reminder from the son you sent whose birthday we celebrate, remind yourself of the weightier matters of the law, justice, righteousness, and mercy that these will be their bywords and their watchwords as they work, and they'll be a blessing to you and a blessing to those they serve. Keep them now, strengthen them where they're weak, build them up on every leaning side, and when their work is done, let the praise come from you that says, well done. Amen. Amen. Please, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. On behalf of the mayor and city council, certainly would like to welcome you here this evening as we uh, begin our swearing in ceremony for this term of office, 2011, as the election of 2015. I went back and looked at a few numbers just out of curiosity as we were moving forward with this item. And really, this is a very small, select group of folks that are sitting up here this evening. This has only been our 11th election in the city of North Charleston. We're 39 years old and we'll celebrate our 40th this coming year. So out of 39 years, this is our 11th election. And out of that, there are 29 former city council people, 29 former city council people, and 13 of those have passed on. And then our two, our 10 that are currently with us. So out of the, out of the time that we've been a city, 
Uh, there's only been 39 total uh, city council people in the city of North Charleston, so I think that's a distinct honor uh, for these folks up here, and, and thank you for sharing this moment and this time with us this evening. We'd like to uh, ask the Lucas sisters from Charity Baptist Church for a selection for them uh, this evening, and then we'll continue on with our uh, ceremony. Lucas sisters? Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight Oh, the ramparts we watch Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket red glare The bombs bursting We'd like now to take a moment to induct our new city council, our, all, all of our city council members, and we would like for our council members just to file up front in front of the uh, in front of the desk, and any of the loved ones that may be holding the Bible to please join uh, you at this time, and if you could pair up appropriately, because we'd like to try to get f some photo uh, some photographs as we're moving along. So please come on up and join your member of council. Swearing in the members of City Council is our Chief Judge Mel Coleman. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could place your left hand on the Bible, raise your right hands, please, to be sworn. I'd ask that you repeat after me. As councilmen and councilwomen of the city of North Charleston, I will equally, fair, and impartially, to the best of my ability and skill, exercise the trust reposed in me, and will use my best endeavors to preserve the peace and carry into effect according to law the purpose for which I have been elected. So help me God. Congratulations.
Mr. Coach, could we ask you all just to kind of hang with us for another moment together so we can get a couple pictures while you all are uh, holding your Bible? Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is your 2012-2016 members of City Council. And as part of our tradition here in North Charleston, we're going to allow each member of council to say a few words at this time. And as once they get back uh, or return to their seats, we're going to start down at the end, Mr. Astell, as Council District Number One. <laughs> I'd like to start off by saying thank you to the people of North Charleston that have put their trust in me and given me this job for four more years of hopefully representing them. Uh, uh, there's also a small little select group. Y you know who you are. Thank you. And uh, as Mr. Anderson gave us a little bit of a history lesson on city council, I'd, uh, I'd like to recognize uh, a gentleman that was here almost 40 years ago at the first city council meeting. The only thing is he was sitting out in the audience and uh, he was reporting for the newspaper. Now he's sitting up here with this distinguished group and I'd like to say welcome aboard, Ron. <laughs> Mr. Ohm, Council District 2. Thank you. First of all, I want to thank my grandson for so nicely holding my Bible. And to thank my family for attending tonight. I think this is the first time everybody's been together in a long time. Um, I am very lucky to have wonderful people in District 2. I think I, and probably every council member would say it, but I think I have the best constituents anybody could ask for. Yeah, I do. Uh, even when they're upset and mad and, and they don't understand something, we're able to talk it through without arguing, without fighting, and they're genuinely good people. Everybody in the city of North Charleston is genuinely good. We've come a long way since I was a child growing up in North Charleston. And I'm not as old as he is, just to let, just to let you know. He is the oldest. But uh, Bobby and I agree to disagree. We are brother and sister, for those of you who don't know. And we were elected at the same time, re-elected at the same time, and, and we work good together. And our districts butt up to each other, so that means, you know, District 3 has good people too, because, you know, they boundary me. But we, um, it's a pleasure to, to serve each and every one of you, but especially the citizens of District 2. Thank you. Mr. Bobby Jamison, District 3, the older brother. That's right. And that was cousins that were standing down there holding the Bibles, That's too, right. by the way. My, gra my granddaughter and her grandson. Uh, tonight, uh, I really didn't prepare a speech. I didn't know I was going to have to. But like a good politician, I kept notes in my pocket just in case I needed to. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's the wrong set. That's my Christmas list. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, well. First thing I'd like to say is to one of our outgoing councilmen who's not here tonight because his son had a basketball game, he told me. But I wanted to give a public thanks to Kirk Taylor. Um, we didn't always agree on issues, but because his issues and mine were so different, 
and you know council has to agree. I found that most of the time when I studied it a little bit more deeply, I found that he was most of the time more correct than I was. And so I just wanted to publicly thank him for his informal leadership that he gave our council during the last eight years that I've been on council. <clears throat> Next, I want to thank the mayor and our city staff. City council members get a lot of credit for getting things done. But really, all we are is coordinators or liaisons between the city staff, the mayor, and our constituents. So they really make our job easier and make us look good. The last eight years that I've been on city council, I've seen a lot of positive changes. And you can sit down and you can count them yourself because you see them right in front of you. We've made, well, this building here is one of them. We've made a lot of positive changes in our city, and I expect in the next four years that that trend will continue, that we will still see North Charleston move forward. And I pledge today, with all my intentions, to contribute my talents to that effort and being the best council member that my, my district has ever known. I also pledge that I'll be a team player on city council. That's a necessity to be a team player because we have to agree. And also pledge to squawk loud and hard when it's not going right <laughs> or when we the people is being ignored. Uh, I thank my constituents who, who put all the faith they have in me to elect me for a third term. And I promise to represent them in their interests steadfast and honorable, in a steadfast and honorable manner. And I want to thank you for being here today because we're the leadership, but you're the movers and shakers. And I appreciate everything that each one of y'all have done for the city of North Charleston. And may we always speak of North Charleston with a sense of pride and a sense of respect. Thank you. Mr. Ron Brinson, District 4. Thank you, uh, Ray. First of all, I want to thank my dear wife for holding the Bible um, and for her love and companionship for the last, is it 40 years? <laughs> my family is here, my boys, um, my brother, and his wife. We lost our mother about a year ago. She was a great fan of as she used to say, the North area, and she would have been so proud tonight. Senator Rose, thank you, sir, for being here. Um, one of my closest friends and a Monday Breakfast Club brother, Bill Moody, is here too. And Bill uh, and I have something in common. Bill and his first political endeavor was elected to the Charleston City Council and he'll be sworn in on Monday, and I look forward to being there for that, uh, Bill. To the voters, to the, my neighbors, and my friends throughout District 4, thank you so very much for this honor. I will repeat the promise that I made. I will work hard. I will do a good job. And yes, Dan, I will do it on a full-time basis. I want to thank uh, Ed Astell for being a great city councilman for our district. I think everybody agrees with that. And Ed, most of all, I want to thank you for your friendship and your mentorship. You know, from Union Heights to Wellborn Village, we are one city with common aspirations and hopes for the best possible quality of living. We share common interests and economic opportunities and safe, well-policed streets. Our job is, as Mayor Summey has described it so many times, making a city that just keeps getting better and better, even better. Eleven of us are being sworn in tonight, and doesn't that invite a football analogy? Uh, 
You know, I think the proposition for city council is to do the blocking and the tackling, and we know who the quarterback is. <laughs> Sore knees and all, Keith. <laughs> you are our leader, certainly our quarterback and our coach, and I look forward to being on this team with you as our leader. And you know, we've got some pretty good blockers and tacklers up here, but I'll volunteer to do something I think we should all volunteer to do, and that's to be a cheerleader for North Charleston. There are so many interesting and wonderful things about our city, starting with our history. And Ed was right, I like to remember being at that first city council meeting as a young reporter 40 years ago. But when we think about the role of this city in our region, we just have to be proud. North Charleston does the heavy lifting for the low country, especially in terms of infrastructure. And when we think about highway and rail infrastructure, industrial development, high tech business developments, we think about the future of the Port of Charleston, I would suggest to you that a very fair argument could be made that North Charleston is today South Carolina's most important economic center. You know, to sum this up, this is a pretty heady experience for a boy who grew up on Cypress Drive, right off Durant Avenue, not far from where Summy Drive is right now. <laughs> I spent the days going up and down Durant Avenue, either to school or to Park Circle. Gosh, I remember that it was sort of a rite of passage that we learned to swim by walking up to Park Circle. Danny Jones would put us on a bus and we'd travel into the city where he taught us to swim. There was a Park Circle Teen Club. Many of you will remember that. Mrs. Rudolo and so many other wonderful people. We played ball year round at Park Circle, and as I really like to say, and it's the truth, I played ball at Park Circle and hooky at Noisette Creek. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my dear mother telling us all the time that we would always remember where we were from and that we were from the great North area. To my new colleagues, I look forward to working with you as a part of a team that really will try to make this city an even better place. Thank you all so very much. Mr. Todd Olds, District 5. Thank you, Ray. Ron, I don't think I can top that one, so <laughs> be a little shorter. I want to thank each and every one of you for being here tonight. And first and foremost, I want to thank my wife and family for their support and trust that they've had in me for this endeavor. Uh, this endeavor was quite a challenge for me, uh, having ran against a 14-year incumbent, Mr. Ayer, and I want to say thank you to Mr. Ayer for his 14 years of service and all he did for the city. And on that, Mr. Ayer gave me a great challenge. With 14 years of running against an incumbent, it's not easy. And I want to say to you, I worked hard for this challenge in this endeavor, knocked on 2,600 doors. I met many people. I didn't see everyone. I plan to see a lot more who I didn't see in my campaign. But I want to share with each and every one of you tonight, you can be assured that I will be a strong voice for this city, for my District 5, and for the best interest to preserve and protect and gain the best stuff that we need in North Charleston. I think we've got a great leader, Mayor Summey. I was challenged many times in my campaign with many people saying I would be a rubber stamp for this city. Well, I have you all to know, I will second a, a many of things that the mayor may want to do, but I will tell you also, the mayor and I can agree to disagree. And he and I are friends. I think he's a great leader that has done great things for this city, and I don't think that I can step in front of him in any way, shape, or form, nor anyone in this city, to say that he's done anything wrong. I want to continue to carry out the best things for this city, the growth. We represent 96,000 people and constituents, and I think each and every one of you deserve the best constituent service that you should have. I want to protect your pockets. I want to provide you with the best recreation, the best police force, 
the best fire source resources, the best core services you could have. I'm one voice. But I can assure you, I have open ears, and I'm a listener, and I will always take any concern that you may have regarding this city and your best interest to our mayor and our council to work for the best interests of all. Thank you all for who supported me. Once again, thanks to my family, and I am looking forward to this great challenge and endeavor to make North Charleston a better place to live, work, and play. Ms. Dorothy Williams, Council District 6. Good evening, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank God, and I would like to thank my mother who's looking down at me with God. Whenever I act up, I can feel a little knot on top of my head. Don't know where it came come from, but I know it's from her telling me to straighten up. And um, third of all, my wonderful family that I know that love me very, very much, and they're here. And I just want to say if it wasn't for them and their support, I don't know what would happen. Now, the gentleman that was standing with me, I met him at Piggly Wiggly. He was complaining about something in his area. And I said, well, where do you live? He said, Russelldale. I said, well, I'm your representative. He said, and so what? <laughs> I said, well, could you tell me the problem and let me see if I could get it solved? He said, oh, well, whatever. So he told me the problem. I got his name and number and everything and came back home, called City Hall, got the problem solved. And one thing, 15 years ago when I met him, he's the president of Russelldale, Mr. Tony Grasco. He said, I have never voted. He said, but until I met you and Mayor Summy, that turned my whole life around. And he have always been there for me and a very good supporter. Whenever I'm upset about anything, I can pick up the phone and call him. And we are very, very tight. And I want to thank you, Mr. Grasco, for all of your support. Now, like I always have said, we cannot do anything as a council up here without the support of every department head and every department in this city. We cannot get anything accomplished. So without the department heads and their workers, I want to thank you for having me back here. Because when I, my constituents have problems, and I call all the different departments, they always work with me and make me look good to my constituents. So I would like to thank every department head and all the workers at the city of North Charleston and again, may God bless you. And I can't say anything else about the mayor because his head probably swelling by now <laughs> from all the comments that everyone is saying. But again, the old council members must not forget the wonderful Ray Anderson, Mayor Summy, right-hand man. I mean, those two worked diligently together. And Ray was on council, and when the mayor was elected, he pulled him off, and he did the best thing. I didn't like the way he <laughs> voted. <laughs> but again, I would just like to thank uh, everyone again, all my constituents and my family, and God bless. Council District 7, Mr. Sam Hart. <clears throat> mayor Summy, fellow councilmen, returnees, and elected, constituents of District 7, families thus assembled, to my pastor, the Dr. Reverend B. Nelson, would you please stand, Reverend Nelson? <laughs> okay, you want to sit. To the Songbirds, the Lucas Sisters from Charity Baptist Church, to Councilman Dobby, who held the Bible for me, citizens of this great city, the city of North Charleston. I greet you in the strong name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. First, I want to thank the constituents of District 7 for allowing me the privilege of serving them and the city of North Charleston for another four years. I want to thank our Mayor Summy for his vision 
of building a better and a safer North Charleston, a place where people want to live, work, and play. Thank our council men for making the commitment to the vision, realizing that diversities dictates various prescriptions for growth. Working together, create the climate where results can be multiplied. We live in a better, cleaner city that is on the move, that is growing economically, educationally, and spiritually. Thank you. Council District 8, Mr. Bob King. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for coming tonight. I see a lot of uh, people and supporters in, in the audience tonight. A lot of people uh, that um, it was mentioned about the movers and the shakers in North Charleston. I think a lot of them are here tonight, and, and I'm so privileged to, um, to uh, be able to represent them again on this city council. And I, I would be neglected if I didn't recognize my wife of over 50 years. Uh, would you please stand, show? Yes, uh, we've been married <laughs> over a little over 50 years. Since I've been out of the city, we've been married. <laughs> but uh, but uh, I have my daughters and, uh, and the children over there with her also, and I have the grandchildren. So uh, I am a veteran of, of uh, this uh, city. Uh, I grew up in this city. I've been around Park Circle. My district was expanded this year to include all of Park Circle. <laughs> And uh, I'm, I'm very, very privileged to have that. And uh, we, we took in some new uh, residents in that particular area. Uh, they have uh, came forward and supported us on, the, on this uh, endeavor to win re-election. So I'm so proud to be there. I'm proud to be uh, on, in North Charleston Council because this is the renaissance of North Charleston. Mayor, I want to say that we, we have, what we have accomplished in the few years that I, we've been together has been tremendous. And you have changed uh, your leadership there, without the commercials, has been terrific, and we are, and we have, and we've moved this city forward, and we're not known now. As I mentioned tonight, somebody mentioned about the North area. We're not known as the North area anymore. We, we're known as North Charleston. We, when the mayor goes to meetings downtown, they don't say North area anymore. They say North Charleston. And if you notice on the side of this building, this same building here. It says North in big letters and, and Charleston's <laughs> in smaller letters. So, so, so we, we work in that. But uh, we have a lot of things on the plate for this coming uh, uh, session. Uh, we're going to be starting. We've already started on working in one. We did tonight, uh, passing this uh, TIF district for the Ingleside thing. That will be another center point up in the northern part of the city. We are the third largest city in South Carolina. And we continue to grow, and we get, we'll probably be uh, up to first here pretty soon, Mayor. It won't, hope, won't be too long, I hope. And so uh, we keep annexing and doing the things that we need to do. But uh, mayor, the mayor has given the leadership uh, for this, along with his staff and the, and the people that was mentioned about the staff. And they, they do have a great staff here in the city. We work hard with them. They do support us, support the council. They support the city. They do everything they can. To, to try to serve the citizens of this of this uh, city, and they have done that. And uh, Mayor, uh, I'm looking forward to working with you uh, again for four years. Uh, we worked together for a long time. We're going to continue to do that. I pledge my support to to you that uh, we'll move this uh, city even further than we have in the past. And we have a lot of uh, projects on the plate, as I mentioned. Just one angle side. We got. Uh, Pine Haven Shopping Center, the old Pine Haven sh Shipboard Square, whatever you want to call it, uh, is on the drawing board. And uh, DeGarco Village, all those things are on the drawing board that we need to move forward. Before I finish up, I would, would like to recognize my minister who came uh, tonight also, and our new minister for North Charleston United Methodist Church. She just came here about six months ago. Today is her birthday. Wendy, would you please stand? <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to her. So I do, I do look forward to it. I thank all those uh, that supported me and got out and worked real hard for me. 
and uh, we're going to continue to move this city forward, as I mentioned, and uh, God bless each one of you. Thank you. Mr. Dwight Stiegler, Council District 9. Good evening, everybody. I'm so happy to be here tonight. It's a very exciting opportunity, and I'm very grateful to all the uh, constituents in District 9 that have uh, given me this opportunity to serve them. And also, I'm grateful for the uh, mentorship that I've received from Councilman Astle also during this course of time. Um, don't want to leave out my family. Um, thank, thankful for my wife for holding the Bible tonight, and especially for my mom and dad who um, came up here out of town to uh, come visit me at this time. Um, during the next several years, there will be many major issues, I'm sure, that will come across uh, North Charleston that we'll have to address. And I'm really looking forward to spending, you know, a good amount of effort as far as addressing the issues, for the concerns that the people in District 9 have as well as the city at large. And to accomplish that, it'll be important for me to make sure that we're a united council. I'm looking very forward to working with the mayor and every single one of the council members here tonight. I've had the benefit to come to nearly all the council meetings and committee meetings over the past two years and gained a lot of knowledge that way and, and hopefully kicked off some good relationships with some of the city officials, employees, as well as the mayor and the councilmen. And I'm very excited to be able to be a part of this. Also, I... Um, As I said earlier, I think it's, it's, it's really important that city council cooperates and works together and comes to consensus and everything. And I believe that um, I'll, I'll fit in well with that. I'm also uh, excited about taking what I believe is a really good city and being a part of making it even a better city, a better place for us to live, work, and play. Thank you. Council District 10, Mr. Michael Brown. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. Four scores and seven years ago, I <laughs> uh, got light for good humor, but I don't take it on the good note. It was four years ago coming to council, uh, election of 2007. It created a commitment to me even much more, and uh, that commitment was more in the community. Sure, it was there from God, your commitment with God and your family. But that commitment came more in community and what was happening, what needs to take place. Representing District 10, it is rewarding. It is also challenging knowing that you're, you're actually representing the most impoverished district within the city of North Charleston. And it's so good to know that people are committed to make those change happen for it to be a better district and for it to be a better place within North Charleston. But first, I would like to recognize, and Mayor, you did it real well today when we brought all council members to have a dinner today or our luncheon, and that is to recognize my family, my wife, and my two sons that are here present with me um, on how committed they were in helping me and uh, on my goals. Uh, I think uh, all the council members, I think Ms. Phoebe is here, and I think two is not here tonight. I would like to thank them and also the other council members who are present here tonight in helping me in my growth during the last four years. The commitment to people, it was instilled inside me, I got to say by my parents, which is Herman and Edith Brown. They're not present with me, but they're deceased. Those commitment growing up in Union Hike was all instilled inside of me from someone you may not have known. I know quite a bit of people who know Ms. Mary Lee Davis, Mr. James Wilson, and some that are still inside of me right now are from Mr. Oliver Perry, his commitment to communities. And those are what drive me to be better. And I would appreciate all the help that I received from them in my makeup. The people who have seen certain values in me for my re-election, humbly I thank you. I thank you today. And also I humbly thank those who didn't support me in this election because there are different values or there are different commitments that they see. 
but knowing that I may not have all the right points of view, but if there's dialogue, there's commitment to for it to be better, we can make a change. It can be better. So community rebuilding, no one does it alone. And I would like to thank all the stakeholders who were involved in it. The constituents, the business district, that's what we're going to need. And even the governmental agencies, to what's going to make it happen. The great task before us today, and it must, be, must continue, for this great city to continue to be great, that is a great place to work, live, or play, and I thank you. Thank you all to our city councilmen. Let's give them all another round of applause. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, Mayor Summy was just reelected to his sixth term to head this city. And swearing Mayor Summy in will be Judge Deborah C. Summy. City of North Charleston. I will equally, fair, and impartially to the best of my ability and skill exercise the trust reposed in me and will use my best endeavors to preserve the peace and carry into effect according to law the purpose for which I have been elected. The purpose for which I have been elected. Not everybody gets to kiss the judge after this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Let me just say that uh, this is a wonderful time for me in my life. You know, I've been mayor now for 17 years, uh, and it's hard to believe time has passed so quickly. But what we've been able to experience in that 17 years is a prime example of what we are in North Charleston. 
Uh, we've probably, I've been probably through about 15 or 16 council members totally. And every one of them have worked hard to make North Charleston better. Not that we always agreed, but Debbie reminds me all the time, we've been married 42 years, we know how to disagree. Uh, and you have to learn to disagree, but not be disagreeable. And how can we work together to make it better? If there's a problem, let's fix it. If there's an issue, let's deal with it. But at the end of the day, the ultimate goal should be to make it a better place. I think the challenge that each of us have in life is to make the next generation, my grandchildren, your children, have a better place to live in. I think that's the challenge that we as adults are challenged to do on a daily basis. I want life to be better for that next generation. I want them to have opportunities that I didn't have. I want my grandchildren to have opportunities their parents didn't have. It's not going to happen unless we take control and make it happen. When I decided to run for mayor, I'll be quite honest with you, is because I thought our city was headed in a direction I did not want to see it go. And I didn't think it would be a place that young people wanted to live. I didn't think it would be a place that people wanted to move to. Well, thanks to those council members that have worked with me all those years, we are an up and coming city. Our population now is about 99,000 people. We're almost at 100,000. You've got to remember that our population decreased in 1996 when the Navy base closed. We lost 7,000 population of military personnel that was assigned to us. So we have not just gone from the 20,000 we started with, we lost seven and have come to 99,000. We're in all three counties, Berkeley, Charleston, and Dorchester counties. We have a big, broad group of people that we have to represent. But let me tell you, not only do we have a council that's up to that task, we have a staff that is unbelievable. I can tell you, in the executive department, I have been able to assemble a team that cares, works hard, and answers every time you call. We try to find solutions to your problems. I believe that there are two type of people in this world that work for the government. It's public servants and there's bureaucrats. And I don't allow bureaucrats to work in North Charleston. Now somebody said, what's the difference in a bureaucrat and a public servant? A public servant is one that looks for a way to find solutions to problems to make it work. A bureaucrat is someone that couldn't make it on the outside and went to work for the government so they could make it hard on those people who did. And we don't allow that to happen in North Charleston. You either here to serve or you get out. And that's the way it works. My department heads, I would put up against any in the country. My police department, I would put them up against any police department in the southeastern part of this country for what we've been able to accomplish in the last 10 years under John Zuma. Our fire department, state of the art, do a great job, give service, believe in safety. Our human resources department is doing an outstanding job in bringing us into the 21st century of how we deal with issues that affect the people who work with us and for us. We have a bright future. We have an amazing opportunity. We can become a city that everybody looks at with all. I hope when you pulled up tonight you saw those fans turning up on the roof. We have five wind turbines mounted to the roof of this building that help produce energy to run this building. North Charleston used to be known as the industrial capital of the low country. We're now known as the industrial green capital of the low country because we believe in doing it right. 
Everything that I have been able to accomplish in the 17 years that I've been here, I owe to this city council because of their willingness to work, take some risk. We, we've taken some risk. If you don't believe it, ride by ship, watch Square today. They were out there knocking down more buildings. There's a lot of people that say that we shouldn't invest in that, and we wouldn't if somebody else did. But sometimes you don't have a choice. But also let me say, any of you businesses out here that need me to advertise for you, please contact me. <laughs> if you've got a business in North Charleston and you're paying property tax and you're paying sales tax and you're paying a business license fee, by God, I'd rather them buy it here than anywhere else. Okay, so thank you. I had to get that off my chest. <laughs> but I look forward to the, the next four years, and we will work together. Uh, to make it happen. I'm excited about our new council members. They're all energetic. They all really care about what we've got going on. And we have some challenges to go along with the things that we're working on. One is the issue with the port that we're trying to resolve. And we believe it can be resolved. It's just going to take people coming to the table with open minds and a heart of working together and not try to put things on anybody that is not necessary. And so that's where we're working. I can tell you that one thing I will always promise you as your mayor, I will work hard to make your quality of life better, and I will fight those things that get in the way of that happening. God bless you. Thank you for four more years. I look to be back here four more years from now with our council members again, giving you the update and looking forward to another four. I'm getting older and better. Another round for Mayor Summit, please. another selection by the Lucas sisters. retrieving of the colors, I would like to say that I noticed as they were walking down the first time, one of our lieutenants almost lost the American flag. Um, 
and I take credit for that. I coached him in t-ball, and undoubtedly I didn't do a real good job with his footwork. So uh, let's be careful going back, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thanks again for the uh, Lucas sisters sharing their talents with us this evening. Our closing prayer will be by Chaplain Rob Dewey of the Coastal Crisis Chaplaincy. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, what an honor it is to be able to come and celebrate you and uh, the servants that you've called forth uh, to lead the city of North Charleston. We ask your special blessing upon them, your continued guidance as they lead us in these next four years. We thank you for your hand upon them. We ask your angels to be around them and each one of us as we are called to be community to support each other to make this even a better place to live. Now we ask your special blessing on us as we go forth from here, called to be your servants. In your holy and blessed name we pray. Amen. Just one quick announcement before we ask the North Charleston Police Department Army Guard to retrieve the colors. There'll be a reception afterwards out in the lobby. Certainly hope that you all hang around and, and join and uh, be with us in fellowship with our new council members. And then, as usual, this thing is almost as bad as a wedding sometime, Mr. Mayor. We're going to ask the council to hang around for some uh, pictures we need to take before we excuse you to the reception. So, again, thank you all for coming. <laughs> Guys. <laughs>